today we'll have a look at a very fascinating pen uh, that is called the Mezzanotte. It's made by Delta and it was made to celebrate the 40th anniversary of this shop. Now clearly when they started out it wasn't a web shop so it's not actually called goldpen.it but that's their URL, okay? Whoever says URL anymore, I don't know. Anyway, um, very interesting pen I think and uh, I'm, I'm very interested to, uh, to review this because I, I find it a, a very fascinating model. So as I said, made by Delta, this sleeve comes off and then you have this box. Simple box, looks like a, a flattened shoe box if you like really flat shoes and you might be able to fit some, fit some in here. Uh, cardboard, little bottle of ink, special ink, Mezzanotte and it actually says goldpen.it. I do not know if Delta makes this ink, I don't know who makes this ink, it's not on there, but this is the ink and it's black. Clearly the theme they went for here is black, but Mezzanotte means the middle of the night, and in the middle of the night they say is relevant because that is the start of a new day, 40 years in the pen business, whole new day, everything is fancy, woo, you know, everybody happy. Now, here's a little booklet that comes with the pen, uh, very nice, in English as well as Italian, uh, I'm, I'm very happy they, uh, they, they put English text in there because I can pick up a little bit of the Italian when I read it, but I'm definitely not fluent in the language. Uh, 14 karat solid gold nib, or one of those Delta Fusion nibs, and silver um, center band. Now this box is uh, is really quite something. Um, this, I'm just gonna, going to take it out of the cardboard box. This is the box that holds the pen. You can see that it's highly reflective, very, very fascinating, uh, and it's screwed shut. Now, given the theme, I'm just going to open these screws. Given the theme of midnight, I really had to think of some type of coffin that you, you screw shut. It's all a bit uh, macabre, but in any case, uh, what I did like is the uh, the little sorry, uh, where's my thing? The little nib on those screws. I mean, there's clearly a lot of eye for detail here. I'm just going to open this so they can kind of slide it open. Show you the pen. Oh yeah, and a little bow tie. Or an hourglass, which is even more sort of death symbolism. Um, the pen. The pen is beautiful. It's it's uh, very nice, very shiny, and definitely very very black. Um, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. So first of all, uh, great design. I, I, I love it. It's one of those, those beautiful Delta pens. The black is very intense. It's it, it's really absorbing all light. Uh, you have the little Delta logo on top again, on the finial. Uh, here you have the, the very nice clip with a little wheel. I've always enjoyed that. Uh, and here on the center band, so this is silver. Uh, you have the tip of a spear and they say something about that. I just wanted to read that. It's easier to read it than to try and sum summarize it. Um, sober and elegant in its black livery, the pen is embellished with a sculptured ring in burnished silver, portraying a laurel wreath and a saunion, the tip of the spear of the Samnite warrior. These two symbols taken from an ancient coin found in the grounds where gold pen was born, the Samnium, territory between Abruzzo, Molise, Puglia, 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 see, that's how far my Italian goes, and Campania, all right, so I like that, I like that because it has eye for detail, it's not just a pen, they really thought about this, they put thought into the center band even, which I think is fantastic, I like that kind of stuff. Okay, clip itself, nice and springy, and then on the back of the cap, it has Delta Italy and Mezzanotte. This was a limited edition and of course the pen was made for this company so you can only get it there. So if you want to get it you need to go to that company's website. I'll link to it in the description of the video. So you have that. Uh, also I think the contrast is between the black and the silver is very very nice because it's burnished silver. It's not just a bright silver. You actually have a slightly matte background on the center band and also the engraving on it is very crisp it's very well done okay then you have the barrel and you have the piston turning knob piston turning knob actually I should say this is a blind cap the actual piston turning knob is, knob is under that so it is an actual piston filler 
I think Delta calls it the ratchet uh, the piston filler, uh, but it, it seems to work very well. Nice ink window, uh, you know, simple uh, but very useful because a piston filler allows you to see how much uh, ink there is in there. Um, and what's interesting is that you can actually see the ink window when the pen is capped, so it gives you a bit of an idea how much ink is left. So it's very easy to see, but you, you may get an indication. Okay, nib, nice nib. Uh, I, I like it. This is the gold nib, not the fusion nib. And this is a stub, and it's a very attractive nib, I think. It, it's also a very pleasant nib to write with. And then simple feed. Section, tapers down, then flares out a bit. And you have these threads here, which are not sharp. It's not a small pen. It's uh, pretty big, actually. Uh, and... Um, I love it. I think it's a, it's a great size. Now, if you want to, and you can find the cap, I nearly lost it there, you can also post it, but then it's really big. I, I don't think a lot of people would use it that way. Of course, another issue with that is that the, the blind cap unscrews, so you can accidentally unscrew it. It won't expel any ink, but it is a little, uh, a little annoying. Okay, what do I like about the pen, what do I not like about the pen? I love the pen. I think it's great. Nice eye for detail, nice size, has a good weight to it, a robust feeling. Uh, I think this is a very uh, pleasant pen to hold, use, and it writes beautifully. It just works the way it should. You buy a luxury pen, it's not cheap. You're looking at something, uh, depending on your nib option, something between 300 and um, mid-range 400 euros, something like that. Um, and, you know, that, that makes it expensive. But you also get a lot. You get a larger pen, you get a piston filler, you get a gold nib, uh, and you get limited edition, of course. And you get something with, as I said, nice eye for detail. That center band to me, I know it's just a detail, but it's a good detail. It works. It, it's clean. It's well done. Just the way I like it. I love it. Things I don't like about it, well, this is a really stupid thing to say, but this, because there's this weird ratchet thing in there, it, the, the, the piston when you operate it can't do it right now because there's ink in it. It has a weird clicking sound, uh, which I'm not an enormous fan of, but uh, it, it works, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, I don't really have any issues with this pen, I have to be honest. There's nothing about this that I really dislike. So, I love it, I think it's a very well made pen. Uh, I uh, congratulate the company on being in business for so long and may there be many many years to follow. Okay, next we need to do a writing sample that's coming up now. Measurements of the pen will be on the website as well as high resolution pictures of the pen taken by Gourmet Pens. Hope this was useful so far and I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we have the Delta Mezzanotte. This is a stub nib, and the ink is the. Uh, I'm just going to say Delta Mezzanotte because it is the ink that came with the pen. Not in. This nib is very very pleasant. I uh, I really enjoy it. Offers a nice bit of line variation. Is very smooth. As you can see, smoothly, no skips, works very well. Wetness with a stub, I don't really like to go this way because that's it's kind of weird, so I'll just go this way today because it's a broader nib. And as you can see, that's fairly wet. Line variation, of course, being a stub, this is no pressure. You can see there is a difference in the diagonal strokes, this direction and that direction, so it already has a natural line variation. But if you want it, you can exert some pressure and get a little bit more line variation out of that. Okay. I am very pleased I was able to review this pen. So thanks a lot for sending it to me.
Hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later.